All right, guys, welcome back to another ESPN MIC highlight reel coming at you through the 8th through the 12th. Just kind of wanted to put together a summary of the week as we do every single week. This Actually, this week was kind of a light week, but let's dive right in, guys. So really quick, I should just mention if you guys get any value out of this video or you want to see more or maybe you want to get your questions answered, guys, you can reach me at my business line at 213-458-5997 anytime. And I'll show you how to book a call during this video. So we're coming in strong on Monday. Alex actually pulled off a $10,500 Monday. Pretty good. But he goes, really annoyed was up three times this amount until I started overtrading CVNA short and gave back a ton in profits. Really annoyed today because I had just walked away. I would have had probably 30000 versus ten. But hey, who's complaining about 10000 I think that's pretty good. I don't have any charts from Alex this week, guys. I think I may have won. Alex, I think, got a little bit either uh, lackadaisical on the posting, or I think he was just really busy. So I honestly don't even know if it was a red or a green week for him. I really only have about 13,000 on his wins, but I do have a bunch of bow charts. So let's kind of dive right in. This is a couple of bow examples. Uh, Easy FL on... Monday, which I believe was the 8th. Yep, the 8th. We're going to go to a 30-day chart over here. We're going to check this out. Uh, that was the 8th right here. So, guys, obviously, pump and dump strategy or territory. It's up. It's down. It's up. It's down over the course of a week. It's up again. It completely gets smoke showed, you know, coming into pre-market and coming into the open. And Bao did exactly that, right in the VWAP, as we always talk about, and then hitting, you know, into the open and just, uh, just covering up really quick. And then, you know, again, just make your money go to your day job kind of thing like that's the philosophy get in get out all right now we are on imrn on the 8th which is right here guys again just kind of like another random pumper up it's giving back towards the um towards the open intraday bow hit it pre-market did a really good job of that and then i i could see bow had a little bit of fomo in here but he scaled it right back to where it fell before covered out got back in cushioned before covered out again really really clean and i think the members absolutely crushed on monday but let's take a look so well, I mean, they crush every single day, but let's take a look at a couple examples. So Irvin, I really like this parabolic move where he kind of waited for the, oops, sorry, one second. Uh, well, let's just start here, guys. My uh, my mouse is all over the place. So Roman, no, str no stress trade on M-I-N-N, low-hanging fruit. I love that M-I-N-M. Great job. That's what you want to do on low-hanging fruit. Back to Irvin. Hitting this parabolic extension, guys. And then, you know, I, I would have loved if he would have hit this, you know, pop after this top. Just to kind of give himself some extra confidence or add to a winner. But this was a really good job. Really patient for the cover. Uh, did a great job on that. Less size, as he said, less size is helping him stay calm. More for my plans. And guys, sometimes that's the fix. If you're feeling yourself a little shaky hand or a little bit too stressed out, sometimes just size down. Really nice job, Fabian, on CVNA, you know, hitting that little pop right there, covering Cushing, and then hitting right where it fails before. That's a great job. Tom, exactly same thing on CVNA, guys, following the watch list, following Alex's commentary, everything in a nutshell. And then Santos with a really good long right here on, you know, a multitude of supports being held and, uh, you know, probably, you know, going right into zombie hour. I, I, it's just really nice. It's just really MIC process right there. Coming into Tuesday, this is the last PL I have for Alex for the week. Uneventful day for me as it was kind of an uneventful week, to be honest. Ignored ENSC, focused on CLRO. Didn't do so much, chalking it up to a slow day, 2200 bucks. So guys, if we just bring up our calculator, we'll just kind of do this. We'll kind of we'll kind of front run this. You know, I usually do this at the end of the webinars. But Alex had, if we're just going on Monday or Tuesday, which I have no idea what he did Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, almost a $13,000 a week. So I don't know if he had a loss after that. I don't know if he was green the whole week, but that's all I saw that was posted from him uh, in the channel where I grab these for a summary of the week. So we'll jock it up that $13,000 week for Alex. Not bad, but let's see what the members were doing. So I think Bao was actually out on Tuesday. Uh, P-O-C-L-R-O. -O, I love this. Wait for the top guys. And then you can hit the bounce. Really good use of lines right there. You know, these things become resistance, you know, that were previous supports on the way back up once they break. So, you know, that's just super clean, man. It's super clean. 
E on MTech, really, really good job on this. You know, it's trailing under pre-market, or I'm sorry, it's trailing under VWAP pre-market, guys. That's what you want. So this is going to be a huge resistance point, and then it's definitely going to be a huge resistance point if it already showed that it can't stay above. You know, when stocks don't play ping pong with VWAP, once they touch VWAP intraday, it's kind of game over, at least for a very, very, very calculated not for sure trade, but the odds are very much in your favor. P-O-C-L-R-O. I love this as well. Again, this is, you know, continuation from kind of like what we saw earlier. Really, really clean job. Really nice. Follow trend down when it's working for you. Uh, AJD, one of our lifetime members, SMX, left some money on but got my target. We always love when that happens. Really nice and clean trade there. When it comes to Bond, he had CVNA, saw weakness at the 13 line. I love it. First resistance, risking high of day. Great freaking job. You know, stuff move, first resistance. Great job, guys. And then wait for a top right here. And then you're going to want to hit that bounce and follow trend down. So just clean, guys. Just you guys are really doing good, man. I love it. Every single week, there's just so many wonderful charts to pull from because you guys really understand process. So let's take a look at what Bao was doing on Wednesday with HCDI, which was uh, right here the 10th. And what you're gonna see, guys, is I love seeing Bao not get on into trouble on something like this. He caught that morning parabolic, you know, pump and dump move, covered out, and then this thing just ripped faces off and he did not get caught on that, which is really nice to see. Cause, you know, I know he gets trigger happy on things that, you know, get pumped and tend to, you know, get pumped again. So it's just nice to see some uh, some really good, um, some really good discipline there and, and staying safe. So, you know, what did we have on PLX? Honestly, this thing just went red. And then as soon as it was coming back to the red to green line, that was all over it under VWAP. Really good job right there in the morning and uh, and clean, clean. And then, you know, cover. And then again, guys, it, it's that it's that stereotypical get your trade, cover, you know, short cover, short outer lines, cover the wash, and then literally just go to your day job. Like supplement income, if you're not a full on trader or full time trader, you know, make a trade or two a day, go to your job, expected trade, build an account by the end of the year. It's as simple as that. Uh, well, it's not as simple as that, but you guys get the idea. That's a, that's as quick as I can explain it. Uh, Wolf, guys, probably still pike this one, but I still love it. Uh, really good job, man. Wolf is so good at waiting for these big tops to happen and then scaling into where it failed before. And then, honestly, his patience is just really good. So great job, Wolf. I know I shouted him out big last week. Bond on STSS, the 150 line, really, really clean job there. I love what he did here. Uh, moving on, we got Law on, this is one of my favorites, guys, that I pulled because TCRX, he got right where it fails pre-market, and then he got right where it failed before based on that pre-market jump. So uh, I'm telling you, that is that is so MIC process. It's it's literally pinpointed perfectly. So CHSN and ST, STSS, broken and backside. These are the much easier trades, guys. Outer lines where a stock failed before on backside. Great job, Ace. And then Mateo... Uh, look at this, guys. That's where the stock fell before. So that's where you want to be come the open. And a little bit intraday, if you're shorting intraday, just make sure you're using outer lines with a tight stop. And it's clean. Soy sauce doing what he does all the time, hitting those parabolics, being really patient on the covers, and then, you know, cushioning himself in the morning and then hitting midday and waiting for an end of day, you know, kind of fade. He's, he's so good at it. So huge, huge shout out to Soy Sauce. He got really good at that. Coming into Thursday, Bao was hitting Pola. P-O-L-A, which was obviously yesterday, guys. I'm filming this on a Friday night. So the market closed, you know, earlier today. And uh, and Bao was hitting, you know, these pops in here, guys, that were just, again, when a stock has overhead and then it's jumping back up to these outer resistance levels, that's where you want to be, guys. These are the mountain peaks. So this one, having pre this one predicated on this one and this one predicated on this one, this one predicated on this one, and then in the open, another one for a channel. So, you know, that like... Like, monkey see, monkey do. Welcome to price action a lot of the time. Oh, man, I can't simplify this anymore for you guys. So, Wolf, really nice job on CVNA. You know, this thing was totally downtrending. And uh, he basically just road trend on that. Lower lower highs, guys, is very key. Just like higher lows is key for a long. So you want to pay attention to these uh, discoveries, these, you know, price indicators and these, and these chart formations. TBRN for uh, AJD. I love this. Really good job. Waited for that top. Hit the pop. Covered the wash. Clean, clean, clean. Check one, check two, check three. 
like I just said, soy sauce hitting those parabolic moves, being patient with the scales, and then extremely patient with the covers, which he's really good at. So uh, big congratulations there. And Diego with the clean, clean, clean three for three. I love it, buddy. I love it. You're getting much better, man. I see you progressing so much. So this week, guys, I got to shout out uh, Diego and a couple others. I could shout all of you guys out, but, um, but you know, sometimes there's just a select few. So that I have time for. Uh, you know, guys, everybody stands out, but I just want to make sure that, you know, everybody kind of gets their week and I kind of shout out one or two people who are really following process or I see getting better, but man, all you guys are just doing such good work. So again, where the stock fell before S P R Y really good job. Bow pre-market hitting that covering the wash. Um, just clean, man. You can't ask for too much more than that. And then this is actually the only chart I have of Alex this week. But what he was doing, guys, is coming to the open. He was shorting this parabolic move, uh, actually covered out for a loss, and then rehammered this and did a really good job in here. So, you know, just because you lose on your first trade of the day does not mean you should be done for the day if there's still edge present. Collect your thoughts, collect your composure, keep a steady hand. And guys, if edge is there, it's time to get back in. It's just you don't want to revenge trade or try to make money back for the sake of, I lost on my first trade. Now let me make money back because now I'm sour from the markets. You never want to do that. Angel, really, really good cut on this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that you guys cut when you should. And if you don't feel like reattacking, you don't feel like reattacking. That was a great example. Uh, Bastouf on Pola, again, you know, took a loss on the first trade and then hammered at the second and was probably green on it at minimum break even. So really good job. Math, Man, this guy, yes, he's had, I think, his first loss in a really long time, guys. That's a loss. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, look at this guy's trajectory. This is so hats off, man. Mateo, amazing job. Fabian doing exactly what Alex did right here, guys, as you can see. You know, just because your first trade is a loss doesn't mean you can't get back in when that confirmation hits. The sentiment change presents itself, and uh, really good job, really good job. So I want to show you guys a couple things. I'm going to go to Slack channel right now. Guys, this is our chat room. So anybody that's not a member, just check this out real quick. This is our Slack community where we offer so uh, like a myriad and a plethora of different resources for you guys. So every single day, you know, there's a watch list in the morning curated by Alex and Bao and the moderators and just everybody with experience all rolled up into one. You know, essentially Alex is kind of the poster boy for the watch list guys, but it's everyone together. Like we're all doing this together. So really good job on, you know, two to three, four to eight stocks running a day, what you should be focusing on, what you should be warned about, et cetera, et cetera. It's really key. Then we go to the main trade Trading chat and this is where the mentorship happens for small caps this is where you know some jokes every now and then but this is where the charts the fills the real-time commentary this is where the education happens then if we go to large cap and options this is where large cap and options are so you know if you're not a small cap trader you definitely still have resources for you we even have a swing trading room but I, what I want to show you is our after hours channel which is so much fun so network post your steak dinners Kyle P nice Post where you are, Malibu, Tom Diesel's in California, nice. Um, you know, past meetups, Alex is playing Mario Kart, probably with his girlfriend, like, super fun, guys. This is a full community of networking and making friends and seeing who else is out there in this crazy world of niches and niching down and traders and what kind of trader are you and what kind of community do you want within trading and your specific niche and your specific style. Like, that's the beauty of community. So if I go to our website, myinvestingclub.com there's a couple things i want you to pay attention to first guys there's a one hour free training right here if you guys want to get that one hour free training just put your name and your email number two the second thing you should be doing is texting me directly if you have questions or booking a call with yours truly and then number three is i'm going to show you the video library list as we have a full basically google search engine for us so if you want to see things like first red day or fomo or anything in between guys right here search it up you know how do you deal with fomo things like this we have a full curriculum and a roadmap for content and then alex's live trade series which is exclusive for lifetime Guys, if you want to get in your lifetime, I'm actually doing some decent promotions right now. So just text my line at 213-458-5997. But um, you can always book a call and uh, I'm doing something really cool this week and next week. So if you're not a member, it is the most perfect time to sign up. Just, just contact me. And if you want to upgrade in chat, DM me at tbradley90 and uh, so we can get you access to this. But guys, but this is exclusive to lifetimes and it's a live trading series that Alex puts on, records his screen live, couple trades, you know, every now and then and then we'll add audio commentary after the fact and have our editing team on this to make sure that you guys are just getting some of the best mentorship that 
internet has ever seen when it equates to day trading. And like I said, guys, you know, Alex had almost, we already tallied this up, but he almost had like a $13,000 a week from the two days that I do have. Um, I could probably get the other days and just, you know, quote you next week but uh but yeah yeah i'm gonna tell him to start posting more alex this is a message you start posting more bro sometimes you forget and uh and i gotta dig like a freaking paleontologist in the desert for some fossils so we'll get on more of that guys but uh that's the week so solid week not crazy there wasn't too much going on but guy oh check this out last thing guys this is so cool so every single month this was the month of April, the analytics of April 2023. We track our watch list. Guys, Alex, 98.1% worked, 58.2% hit the line, 78.8% worked before zombie hour. We track everything and Tom Diesel with the 100%. So guys, the watch list is one of the best resources in the world for day traders at MIC and anybody. And if you're not a part of this community, guys, you are doing yourself a disservice. Do not do this alone. So guys hit my line, book a call, and I will see you next week for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. All right, guys, have a great weekend.